Hey, how are you all doing? And uh, welcome back to Everyday is Different. Today, we're back on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts for Taskmaster Tuesday. If you don't know what Taskmaster Tuesday is, guys, it's a series where I uh, take on a challenge that's been set by either one of you guys or one of the uh, four people I work with. Today, it's been set by Brother Munro. Um, and it is, it's a trap. Naval intelligence has determined an escort an enemy convoy of six troop transports with an escort of four light cruisers and two heavy cruisers will be moving out on, out the protection of air cover. Your battle cruiser is to intercept and sink the convoy, or at least that was your mission. Year 1940, start range 10,000 meters, enemy Japan. They have two battleships, four heavy cruisers and six destroyers because of bad intelligence. And we get one battle cruiser. Any country, unlock all holes. Well, I'll just go America because that seems to make sense. Basically, all we have to do is we have to run away. Um, so once we get, basically we just have to get out the range to a point where no enemies are shooting at us, and we've won. And then whatever our structural integrity is left is our points. So what am I? Oh wait, yes. Before before I get into that, guys, uh, the other three people who I do it with are Spartan Elite Forty Three. History Guy and Bay Aiming, Stealth 17. Uh, all their videos are going to be linked down below. Make sure you go and check them out, including Brother Munro's. Um, and if you are new around here, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now let's get into designing. So, my thoughts for this are probably going to be full speed, full speed, pretty good armor, Hardly any guns. Uh, light shells, reduced ammo, um, minus one and a half percent hull weight. Leave them as they are. Because well, I'm not planning on doing any shooting, that's the thing. That can go up, that can go down. But the thing is, I don't even know if I'm going to use that one. I kind of want. I think stability comes into when is that uh, stability? Whole form of extra ships acceleration, turning speed, and the engine's power needed to achieve top speed. Okay, I think whole form is what I need. So I want the best whole form. One twenty-five on that one. Okay. That one's the best one, 125. Turn that down, turn that up. Um, obviously, crook four, gear two, light shells, reduced ITT. Uh, we will have acoustics, sonar three. Not going to worry about any of that. Because um, we're not trying to sink anything, we're just trying to run as far away as is physically possible. Um, okay, obviously I'm gonna go for the lightest tower because I'm not trying to shoot once again. So that one and the antenna tower. I'm just making it as light as physically possible so I can get the best possible armor. Um, go down to energy capacity. It would help if I did that. So I'm going to need that one, that one, yeah, tool funnel two maybe, if I could. Tool funnel one, tool you know what, I think I'm going to work with that. 99.2 works for me. Right. Definitely an interesting design. Orcs 4, Shaft 3. Now I do need two main guns. So, center line, 9 inch singles. Four weight offset is massive. 
Oh, is that, oh, I can't move that back any further. Move that back. Move that back. Move that back. Move that back. There. Oof. Jesus. Uh, right, okay. I guess what actually I guess what we could do to equal that out more would be just to go for say a twelve inch single. Uh fourteen inch single. That'll do for now. Okay. Okay, Barbette, three, anti-torpedo, I'm going to go for three for now, triple bottom, reinforced, antelope three, citadel, now if we're getting further away, I think I'm going to go all or nothing. Now, if I think, where is... Turning circle, 1,159, shrink it down, possible and put the tool funnel one in here. So, hmm. Tool funnel three. Ninety two point four does still give me everything I need. Uh, full weight offset. How much do I have left? 7,000. So we can go 10 inches. Okay, probably more like 20 inches. Uh, 14. Deck 10. Deck extended 7. Hmm. I have literally got everything I can possibly do to reduce weight. Uh, okay, I don't really need 20. I can go down to sort of 17 there. That can probably go down to 13. Uh, put that down to 9. Uh, 8. Uh, right, let me have a look at the guns. 18 in, If we end up facing 18 inch, 10,000 meters deck... See, that's the problem right there. If they have 18-inch guns, they can shoot at me up to 34 kilometers away. So at 25 kilometers, they're getting 37 inches of deck extended. They're getting, well, I can't do anything against that very much. Conning tower, eight. Turret can go for nine. Turret top can go for six. Uh, eight. Secondaries, none. And then what do I have left? Okay, maybe I can slap another little bit onto there, not that much. Okay, I guess that is that is what we're going for. 0.2% full weight offset. Um, turning circle isn't amazing, but it's a fast ship. Um, and now we just have to run away. I really hope I'm not pointing towards the enemy, let's go. 
Okay, it doesn't look like they've got 18 inch guns. Right, yes. Turn there, and now go. I need to try and keep it sort of turning, as that will turn off the rain, hopefully. Come on. Speed, speed, speed. Right, what range are we at now? We're uh, 17. Turn. And turn. Now, our problem is here, if they have super quick destroyers that could be an interesting one come on just run we've only got two of them, the two battleships spotted anymore Come on, Montana, you beauty. Okay, we've lost sight of one of them. But that doesn't mean they've lost sight of me. Keep it going. Okay, we've still lost sight that they can still see me. going until they can't possibly shoot at me anymore come on stop your damn shooting bob and weave ouch Come on, stop shooting. Because now they're getting actual penetrations, kind of. Which is the opposite of one one. They've only got 13 inch guns, which is okay. It probably means they're only going to be shooting out to about 25 kilometers, maybe. Get me out, get me out, come on. Nope, they're still shooting. Please let me out of their sights. No! Come on! Get me out! Oh, we have still got shells coming in. There we go. That's what we do not want right there. Okay, I can't see any more shells coming in. If we just go straight, I think we should be fine at this point. Yeah? I think we're good. I'll give it about another, there you go, look, 10 times. We can, if we can go up to 10 times now, that means they can't see me anymore. So there we go. I think we're good. We have survived with 93% structural integrity left. Um, so that gives us 93 points. I don't know how well the other guys have really done. If we hadn't had that one big hit there, we'd probably be on about 97 at this point. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Either way, guys, that's my attempt. It was a unbelievably short one, I guess. Um, it took me longer to about ten times, well, feels like about ten times longer to design the ship than actually 
do the challenge. Well, there we go. Either way, hope you guys have enjoyed um, the, Monta the Montana's Great Escape. Um, I guess we'll take it back into here. 93 points, as, as long as I haven't read that wrong. Um, you, are, you have successfully run away. If you are out of range of the enemy weapons, I was. Uh, and you can ex end the scenario here and receive your points equal to the remaining structural integrity of your ship. There we go. 93 points. That is all. The Montana served us well with its just terrible ship. Honestly, horrific. But either way, guys, that is going to be all for today. Hope you have enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video, guys.